Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate. In today's video, I'm going to try and install this half inch pump on this waterfall, which is close to 12 foot. And the goal is to push water to the top of this hill where I have an RV camper. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using this dual intake here. It's going to be sunk down on this side of the pond. It's going to come up and over this spillway using a three quarter inch pipe. It's going to go down the waterfall, turn into a half inch pipe, skirt along the wall here about 50 feet over here, and this is going to have a garden hose up and over up the hill. First thing I want to do here is jump down in the water, get my shoes nice and wet, and I want to measure out the distance required here to skirt across the pond or the spillway. Okay, looks like about right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a mark so I know where that is. Go ahead and get this cut here. Okay, I brought some PVC cement. Go ahead and get a 90 degree on here. Okay. And now from there, I want to have a pipe that comes down a foot or so for that uh, dual intake to attach to, something like that. And then out of that, I'm going to go ahead and put this dual intake. The rock ledge comes out to about here, so I want to 90 over and then go down. So I'm just going to put this 90 on the edge here, and then I'm just going to follow that up with another small piece of pipe. Something like that. Now to be able to start this siphon, what I'm going to do is install a piece like this that will then have a 90 coming back up. This will be here, this will be here, and then the rest of the pipe will continue on down the waterfall. And on top of this, I'm going to have a regular ball valve to cut off the water to, uh, to this piece. So basically I can start the siphon by pouring water into here and then close it off. And when I open the valve at the ram pump, it should pull the siphon over the waterfall. That's my hope. So let's go ahead and get these pieces glued together. I have made sure that this is going to be long enough that it's not interfering with the intake. I remeasured the waterfall and it's only going to be about eight feet where I'm at. So I think it should be just right. So I'm going to install this six foot piece at the end of this piece right here that we just previously made. Here we go. Almost done with the PVC part off the dam. And then we'll move on to the pump side. So this 90 right here is going to be kind of at a, a 45 off of the standpipe we put in earlier. It looks like about right there. I also need to install this reducer from three quarter to half. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and get my two sections of half inch pipe together here. Okay, to get my half inch pipe attached to my intake piece here. And we'll go ahead and plop this into the water. Okay. 
Okay, I've given all the connections about 20 minutes to cure. Let's go ahead and see about getting this whole system down here in the water. go ahead and drop the pipe down which is scary because it's so snaky down there okay here's what we have so far the intake is right here and uh, seems to be looking good comes over here skirts around this rock wall and goes down to the bottom Looks like I pretty well touched the bottom right where I wanted to. I uh, have a bit of an upwards push here. I may have to find a stick or something to push that pipe down. Let's go ahead and take the pump down here, attach it, and see if we can get this at least primed before we move on further. If you're watching this video, I didn't die of a snake bite or from a bunch of wasps. Definitely saw a snake down here yesterday, though. Okay. Not my favorite activity. Definitely no Bear Grylls or Steve Irwin. So far, so good. So I'm not going to glue this up here yet because I might extend this a little further. I just want to get this right here connected to use this ball valve. Okay, the plan now is to take this bucket and fill up that pipe with water to start the siphon. Okay, I have the pipe full up to where we put that T in, all the way down, hopefully. Let's go open up that valve and see if it'll pull the siphon. Okay, hopefully we get water out of the valve here. Nice. Okay. There's probably a good bit of air still in this line. Yeah, there is. I think it's pulling the siphon though, which is a good thing. I'm not sure if I'm still hearing air or not, but let's pop that and see if it'll start. Hmm, interesting. Aha, good. It's wanting to. May still have some air bubbles in here. Check it out. We got some cycling. Okay, which tells me it's gonna work. I'm seeing a lot of loss here in the drive pipe. Probably should find some big rocks to stick on there. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess get this piece right here glued up. May have to pull the intake out to uh, do that, but it is working. Let's see what kind of pressure we got. Oh yeah, nice. While that last fitting cures, I'm gonna run some garden hose up the hill to uh, go ahead and prepare for pumping water up to the top. Well, let's take a minute to uh, mention that I have four different models for sale at landahouse.com, landahouseshop.com, eBay, and on Amazon. Links in the description down below. If you need a half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, or one and a quarter inch pump, you can find them there. Also, be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you love ram pumps, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I have uh, close to 100 videos on the ram pump, and close to a thousand videos on the channel at the filming of this video. Okay, let's drag some hose up this hill. Okay, moment of truth. Time to push this back down into the water. And then let's go over here, 
and open this up again. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just start filling this hose or this pipe back up with some water. And then when that's full, we'll go ahead and start this thing. Definitely <laughs> need to use the other hand. Okay, delivery pipe garden hose is attached. The pipe should be full enough to start the siphon here. Yep, now, got to find my air bleeding stick here. Let all that air come out. While those air bubbles are coming out of that drive pipe, I want to toss a couple of heavy rocks down here to uh, hopefully prevent this from bouncing some. Ah, just a couple of them ought to do it. Seems like we're good. Let's pull this. Ah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get this thing going while I put some rocks on the drive pipe. Actually, just to make sure it's gonna work here. Because it could take a while to fill that garden hose up enough. Okay, nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just continue to push this down until it uh, fills the pipe up enough to have back pressure. You can see it stops if you don't have enough uh, pressure pushing back down on this. I've been pushing the valve here almost 100 times and I think it's getting really close to having enough back pressure up this hill. When you're working with a waterfall like we are, it uh, can push water up really high, which means you have to prime this thing pretty good to get it to go up there. But I know it's working because if you close the delivery valve here and enough pressure builds up in the tank, it runs on its own. And so when we release this, it should be close. I kept wondering why the ram pump was stopping. I don't have enough back pressure. Just ran another 100 foot hose here to go all the way down another uh, at least 10 to 15 feet climb in elevation from uh, about where the tree is right here. So we'll see how well it does now. After the addition of that 100 feet hose, this thing is just clicking along here. So good, let's head up the hill and see what we get at the top. I'm glad I haven't found any snakes so far. I did find some ants over here, but no problem yet. Okay, man, let's just climb up this hill one more time. Based on the weight of the hose, I can tell the water is somewhere right in here. So I'm thinking we're about to get some water out the top here. So let's see what we get. Aha, we got it. It's a nice flow rate too, considering it's coming from a half inch ram pump. I like it. Over the course of a day, that's a lot of water right there. It's very exciting to see the water at the top of this hill on such a simple setup, even though it took me a while to get things going because I didn't provide enough uh, garden hose for the back pressure required for this eight foot drop up here but it's working now thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe ring that notification bell so you can see more videos and uh, if you would hit the thumbs up button too and i will see you in the next video bye